Got my mom in a cockpit. Yeah. I wanted to talk this morning about influence. Well, my daddy was on that tractor, and old Tom come down there and, and hit him with that tomato steak, knocked him off that tractor. My daddy got up there and whooped him. And I mean, whooped him good. I was back in the days when he wore me cure cone, you know, that orange stuff. He'd wear it like cologne because him and that one right there would argue too. But after he healed up, their house was right on the fence row. I'm talking about like 10 or 15 feet. And so uh, we went and bought a whole bunch of hogs. We put them out on that fence row. I'm talking about a ship like 10. And uh, you know what that's like if you've been around any hogs. Because uh, we purposely didn't tend to them. You know, we fed them, we took care of them. But uh, we let them do their thing, you know. And doing their thing is a lot of stink, you know. But influence. So that went on for years. And we later sold the property and we moved on with our lives, blah, blah, blah. My daddy healed up. Everybody got on with their little mission. But it would be years later we found out that Tom became a, uh, oh, one of them pot belly pig. That's what he did. We influenced his life so much that he began to, uh, you know, raise pot belly pigs. Not only did he raise them, he'd raise them in the house. <laughs> yeah. So influence. Yeah. You know, you can influence people all kinds of ways. If you, uh, are negatively in life and you're using drugs and you know and because no one likes to use alone you influence people to use drugs or you can find inspiration you can speak about your struggles be positive you know and help people out and give and you can influence people in a positive way it's your choice you know and then sometimes hell you can influence people not even knowing i mean just think about old tom you know god bless you from arkansas we're on the way to the doctor Pray for us. Fluid English.